What's up folks, the Infozone is back with another video. Today's topic is Klumke's Palsy, also known as Klumke's Paralysis. It is a lesion in the lower trunk of the brachial plexus, precisely the C8 and T1 junction, which is called as medial half of the brachial plexus as it supplies the medial compartment of the forearm and wrist and hand. Most important causes includes birth injuries, form of traumatic vaginal deliveries, also the size of the infant plays a greater role as a greater size may have a greater traction while pulling them out of pelvis during delivery. The common mechanism of injury involves a person who tries to save himself from falling down a tree or a height tends to tangle on a thing or a branch of a tree in order to save himself from falling accidentally injuring the lower trunk of the brachial plexus the clinical features are the intrinsic minus deformity which is also known as Claw hand. The CHT1 nerve roots of the brachial plexus give out ulnar nerve, which is the middlemost nerve in the forearm component supplying the middlemost muscles, and hence the sensory and motor symptoms are seen in the CHT1 nerve supply. Also, the sensory aspect is also affected as the C8 dermatomes C8 and T1 dermatomes are affected the muscles which are involved here are the intraosseae thenar and hypothenar muscles because C8 T1 also gives medial root of the median nerve notably flexor capa ulnaris and ulnar half of flexor digitorum profundus is also affected. Talking about the Horner's syndrome, which is seen when there is a damage to the sympathetic trunk. The Horner's syndrome is characterized by three very important clinical features. Meiosis means a constricted pupil ptosis a weak droopy eyelid and hydrosis reduction in sweating with or without enophthalmos which is inset eyeball enophthalmos may or may not be present in the characteristic of the syndrome Diagnosis of Klumke's palsy involves electromyography and nerve conduction studies which can help to locate the lesion and the severity of the same. The management of Klumke's palsy involves physiotherapy as physiotherapy plays a very very important role in bringing back the functionality of the muscle as well as the strengths. The intrinsic muscles of hand play an important role in gripping activities. The precision, prehension and fine motor functions are quite imperative in activities of daily living. Hence range of motion exercises and strengthening exercises can improve the strength of these muscles. Surgery involves no grafts, muscle grafts, and surgical removal of scar tissues, which tend to slow down the conduction of nerve. Just before we conclude, quote for today: satisfaction is the best treasure. If you like the video, hit the like button down and do subscribe my channel 
for future updates. If you have any suggestions or if you want me to prepare a lecture on a desired topic, please do let me know in the comment section. Till then, thank you very much and goodbye.